Alrighty, I've never done this before, so y'all will have to bear with me, but today um, for one of our activities, I figured that um, we can make some at-home slime. Uh, if you go and you check out the previous posts, um, there is a list of ingredients that you will need to make this at-home slime, and for parents who might be worried about um, children ingesting, ingesting the slime or um, worry about whether or not it's toxic. Um, the slime actually is edible so for if you do have kids that are all about putting their hands in their mouth um, this won't affect them at all. So today we will be using um, some chia seeds and I just kind of got mine from from Publix um, and then we will also be using some cornstarch and then um, on the ingredients list too, it calls for food coloring, so you can kind of use whatever food coloring you want. However, I won't be using it today. Um, so, if you go back and you look at the ingredients list, let's see, let me pull it up real quick. In the very beginning, it talks about taking the chia seeds and the water and the food coloring and mixing it together and um, covering it, refrigerating it overnight. So, I kind of went ahead and did a portion of that for you so that way you would kind of see what it would look like but this is the ending product for what we will be making today it doesn't even look the most appealing sometimes but yes it is slime and um, every time that you play with it just be sure to kind of add some water to it it helps with um, making it reactive again to being able to play with it um, so let me see we're going to start out with sorry I thought I had everything um, we're going to kind of start out with like mixing everything together so um, you're going to get a one-fourth cup yes one-fourth cup of chia seed so and put it in a bowl And just kind of pour it on in there and then I went ahead and already measured it out but you're going to get a one and three-fourth cup of water and just kind of pour it in the chia seeds with it and at this step you'll also add your food coloring and you can add whatever food coloring you want you can do green red purple whatever your favorite color is and then once you add all three of those, you're going to mix all three of those ingredients together.
Okay. And then you're going to want to leave this overnight in the fridge. So for about 6 to 12 hours. So you're going to want to cover it with... You can take some aluminum foil, or if you're doing it in a like food storage container, you can add that to like your, your top. So I just kind of use aluminum foil. You just want to kind of cover that up. Make it as tight as you can. And then you're going to want to go set it in the fridge. But I also made a separate batch, so that way we already have what it looks like from overnight so if you can see it without it kind of spilling out which I don't think you can but um, it's going to have some like water resistancy to it but that means that with it sitting overnight the chia seeds have expanded so we're just going to kind of mix that together again kind of break it up a little bit Okay, and the next step is to add a cup of cornstarch. So you're just going to take the cornstarch and you're going to kind of oh, wrong one, put it in a cup. It's easier to do it over the bowl just in case you have any that like to spill out. And it'll just get in the bowl. You want to start off by using a cup of cornstarch and then you can kind of add however much you want after that. Um, that just like helps build the like thickness and the consistency of your slime. So I guess it just depends on how thick you want your slime. Alrighty, now that we have our cup of cornstarch, we can go ahead and just put it in the bowl with the seeds and the water and the food coloring, if you have the food coloring in it as well. And if you really want to get messy, you can stir this up with your hands. So you can do your hands, you can do a spoon. Um, I like to do it with my hands because it is going to be messy masterpieces. So you can just go ahead and start mixing this with your hand. And you just want to kind of keep mixing it, um, you know, as much as you can making sure that all the cornstarch just kind of mixes in within the thing with all the seeds and the water that's what help builds your slime and in the end if you want to add more food coloring as well you can too depending on um, how much color kind of came out of it depending on if you want the coloring like lighter or darker A lot of the slime is kind of cold since it's been sitting overnight. Okay, and once you think that it's all kind of mixed together, you can add a little bit of water if you want it kind of more runny. Um, but you know, your end product is just going to kind of, you know, be clumpy and oozy, just like you know slime is supposed to be. You know, and if you know you put your food coloring in it, then you know your slime could be red or green or blue. Um, but it's, you know, something super simple, something easy, and, um, you know, when you get done using your slime, you can easily put it in a, um, you know, a little storage container, like a food storage container bowl, or if you have like a cute little jar you want to put it in or something like that, you can, and all you got to do is just put, um, a lid over it, and you just put it in the fridge for overnight, and then... You know, the next time that you want to play with it, you can take it out, take the lid off, and um, add some water to it. And that just helps, like, reactivate the slime. And you just keep doing that over and over again until you don't want to play your slime, play with the slime anymore. And then eventually you can just throw it out. So, but just as a reminder to parents, this is non-toxic and it is edible. So just in case you have, like, younger children who are wanting to make this at home and you're worried about it, you know, getting in their mouths, you know, uh, you won't have to worry about whether or not it would hurt them or be poisonous to them, um, you could probably find alternatives. Um, if your child is allergic to chia seeds, you could probably try like sunflower seeds or um, 
something smaller that you think will probably expand like with the water overnight. Um, but other than that, I think that is it. So if you guys have any questions, you know, be sure to, um, you know, comment them and I will do my best and uh, some of the other friends will do their best to answer those questions, but be sure to join us uh, for the next segment. I think, um, let's see. Who's on next today? So be sure to join us at one with Mackenzie, and she's going to be doing some sensory play today. Thank you guys for watching. This is very new to me, and I'm glad you guys stuck around. But I will see y'all next time, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday.